Look at the sheer near vertical cliffs of Sognefjord. You are seeing glacial quarrying, ice plucking whole sections of mountainside, leaving walls that plunge straight into the water. This process gives the fjord its shape, deep, long, steep-sided. When the last ice age drew to a close, the climate warmed. These immense rivers of ice began to retreat. They melted away, shrinking back toward high mountains. Remnants remain today. The colossal weight lifted from the land. Sea levels rose. The Atlantic flooded the over-deepened valleys. A channel once full of grinding ice became a tranquil arm of the sea, a fjord. Water filled the deep trough from mouth to inland reaches, creating the serene, majestic Sognefjord. The fjord's depth is a testament to the ice's erosive power. Where the unyielding rock meets the placid water, a unique and hardy form of life takes hold. Closer, plants and lichens clinging to the rock. Small, colorful towns cling to the fjord's edge. Isolated farmsteads perched on impossible slopes, a testament to human resilience in a vertical world. Balistrand, red wooden houses at the cliff base. Flam, the little village tucked into the fjord. Gudvengen, where the valley meets the fjord often in the few flat areas where a side valley joins the main fjord. Wooden houses cluster together, painted facades bright against dark water and gray stone.